Welcome to part four of Shadowloo Bootcamp episode seven, where we're covering Alex's combo guide. Today we're going to cover his trades and V trigger combos and combos into V trigger. If you haven't seen parts one, two, and three, you can click on the links on the screen or in the description below. That being said, let's do the final part. Okay, so before we start with the trades and V-trigger combos, there was a section that we didn't manage to add on the part two when we were covering counter hits, and it was counter hit special moves. So that section, we're gonna add it right now before we go into trades and V-trigger combos on combos into V-trigger. So I'm just gonna go quickly through, go, through, go over that really quick. So with Alex, you can combo right after his low flash chops if it's counter hit or his medium flash chop, even the heavy. Because low flash chop is plus two on hit, but if it's on counter hit, it's plus four, which means you can combo your standing low punch, your standing light punch, or your crouching light punch. And if you combo and if you land a counter hit medium flash chop, you can, you can combo into standing light kick into EX flash chop. So um, I already put the game on counter hit, so I'm just gonna try this out with Ken. See? I landed a uh, low flash chop on counter hit, and then I did standing light punch into low flash chop again. Or, what you could do. Sorry. See, that doesn't reach, but you can do. See? You can also do. Let's see, that's, okay, uh, after the low flash chop, that's all you got. You got standing light punch or crouching light punch, that's about it. If you land the medium one, you can do either your standing light punch or crouching light punch, or you can extend into standing short. See? This is after a medium flash chop on counter hit. Now you can do your light kick because it comes out in five. Because if you see, if I do low flash chop, he blocks the, the light, the light kick. Now, another combo that he has after his special moves on counter hit is his low slash elbow is actually plus five on counter hit. It's plus three on normal hit, but it's plus five on counter hit. The thing with this move is that it pushes you too far. So see, I can't land anything right after. See? But here's the exception. If you catch the character crouching, he's, he's a bit wider and he moves he moves less, I guess, less back. That plus the crouching animation actually makes you wider in the sense that your hurtbox is bigger. So you if you land a low flash chop, a low sorry, low slash elbow, you can do standing light kick into EX flash chop. So that's pretty much all he has after counter hits with his special moves, that's about it because obviously well, this and counter hit doesn't really matter because it's going to knock you down anyways. And this is a grab, so it doesn't matter. And this isn't going to catch them on the ground. So it's pretty much this and this. So let's go over them really quick. Low flash chop, and stand jab into low flash chop again. Medium flash chop, into standing leg kick into EX flash chop, or... On crouching opponents, low slash elbow into standing light kick into EX flash chop. And there you have it. Those are Alex's combos after a counter hit special moves. And if you remember correctly when I did the meaties, you know that if you do meaty medium flash chop, you're plus six and you can land this standing medium punch. Okay? So I hope this is helpful. Now with that, we're going to go on to trades and then to V-trigger combos and combos into V-trigger. Okay, so in this section, we're going to cover uh, his trades. We're just going to cover a few of them because he has a long list of combos that come off of trades. The trades that I'm going to do are trades that go with his flash chops and his slash elbows. I'm going to go for some basic trade setups. One of his basic ones is stand short into low slash flash chop. See? That's one of them. I, I put Ken to do crouching jab. His crouching jab comes out in four frames. There are certain 
setups that you can't do versus three frame characters, but then there are other setups that you can actually do and you get a lot more damage. So I'm just gonna do four framers and then I'm gonna do an in-depth video covering four frames and three frames so you guys can see the different setups that you can do. So like you get the trade, like right after the trade you get enough frame advantage, you get ridiculous amounts up to maybe plus 13 because you can actually, I think it's even more, because you can actually do this. You can actually do a trade low flash chop into medium flash chop. See? And that's extremely slow. See? You can do that into sweep if you want, or you can do that into, into stand roundhouse and then get the B trigger. And you can convert it off with a lot more stuff. The good thing about this setup is that since it stays really far, like even if they block it, it's like there's not much they can do. See? And you can get that every single time. Like at this range, if I do stand short into low flash chop, flash chop, like even if they block it, they won't punish it. And if it hits on trade, that's not gonna hit right there, but you can easily like walk forward. Oh, I didn't walk. See? Some of the trades, actually, you can't do certain stuff. Like, look at this. See, it whiffs, right? But, if you walk forward, just a bit, just walk forward a bit, and you can do the stand fierce. See, if I do it too late, if I do it really fast without walking, I don't get it. But if I walk, I can easily get the damage. Uh, another good frame trap that he has is crouching jab. It's a setup for trade into low slash elbow. See? As you can see, we traded. Same thing happens. I, I'm not in the range to hit him, but if I do this, if I walk a bit, I catch him. See? One of the trades, actually, this... Yeah, it's the fierce one. One of the trades actually sets you up for a, uh, a power bomb, which is standing fierce into fierce flash chop. And if you get that on trade, you walk up. Because see, you don't have to walk up for this one, actually. But if you walk up, look. See, it whiffs. If I do it like right after without walking up, like it whiffs. See? But, if I decide to walk up before doing it, I get the power bomb right after. So there's a lot of good stuff that he has with the trades. Like, this setup in particular, that, actually versus three frames, it'll trade. And you get to do a better conversion right after. Like, you can even do his down forward fierce. Oh, you can do this. See? You can do anything, really. You can extend your damage to ridiculous amounts. See? Like right there, like there was one. I, I'm, I don't think in the corner you get anything off this. You actually do. Yeah, I think I have it in the list. So you can do stand strong into medium slash elbow, into medium slash elbow, into crouching pierce. And then you do the... Sorry, I did pierce. And you get that. And if you want to be like even better, like you can do this. Um... Maybe setup right there. So you can do a lot of stuff. Let me just do that one more time. Okay. So there you go. Um, there are a lot more setups. A lot more combos uh, versus three frames. I'm not gonna show them in this video. I'm gonna do that more in depth because then we're gonna take too long. So now that I've done the trades, we're gonna go to combos in V-Trigger and then combos into V-Trigger and then we're done for this episode for the combo guide. So let's go for the V-Trigger combos right now. Okay, now in this section, we're gonna do his combos in V-Trigger. The V-Trigger is, I think it's called Overhaul, right? 
Um, when you have this, you can actually pa parry by pressing forward and his two heavy attacks and he'll parry. Or if you do both heavy attacks, he'll do a lariat. Which is ridiculous because if you full charge it, it's unblockable. Like it, it does guard break. So, but what, what you want to do with this is, he has a lot of good combos right after this. Like that. Oh, let me take out the, the counter hit as well. You can con you can cancel any move of his into Lariat. It doesn't matter. The thing is that not all of them combo. But the thing is that after the Lariat, you can follow up and cancel into special moves. So you can do Lariat and then buffer the Flash Chop and he'll just cancel into it and it'll combo. Or you can do that into Power Bomb. You can even do the EX versions if you want. You can do it, you can cancel even to his, his knees as well, or into his stomps, doesn't really matter. And they actually give you a certain amount of frame advantage, you can actually link a normal right after, you just show the links that you can do. See? You can link his jab, and then do that. See? And if you full charge it, it's more frame advantage. You can actually do fierce into that. Let me just do that one so you can see. And then you do the jab right after. The timing is so strict. Yeah. Anyways, you get it. You can do two lariats in one combo, that's all you can do. Anyways, um, so let's do the combos that you can do while in lariat. So if you're in that and when you're in V-Trigger, you can do stand medium punch into that, into flash chop, you can do stand fierce into this, into power bomb, or EX power bomb if you want to do more damage. That did a lot of damage, it's 308. You can also, when he's in V-Trigger, if you do his crouching fierce, if you do two hits of the Crouching Fierce, you can't land his normal one. You have to do one hit, like this. So if you do one hit, let me get the V-Trigger. If it's one hit, you can do the normal knee. But if you get both hits, you have to do EX. And combo that. You can actually do that off of the juggle, like if you do juggle, let me just show it so you guys can see it. If you do as an anti-air, if you're in crush counter, you can do so you can do something like that. Let me just show it. So you can do that like that right after. Off of an anti air crush kind of a lot of damage, if you ask me. You can even do this. So you can do that as well. And do something like. So hard to do. Or you can just do this. You can just do it right off. <clears throat> That's one of the ones he has. Let's see what else he has in, in B Trigger. I'll take away his. The one I showed earlier. Ah, missed it. There are setups where you can actually accept full charge. There we go. Five hits. And then you can cancel that into super. And you get the full. You can also link his super right after the, the lariats. Like, you can do this. And do. Okay. 
I mean, it's really good. I mean, the, what I would say is that you need to learn how to use his parries because you can cancel the parry into Lariat. And so, if he does anti air parry into Lariat, then you do the EX knee. If you catch him on the ground, then you do the follow up power bomb or you do the whichever. You can do whichever of both. Let's see if he has anything else on. Let me check. I'm checking a list of combos that I wrote down. So. Oh, that's pretty much it. So now that being said, we're gonna go into a few combos that are combos into V-Trigger. And then after that, then we're done. Okay, so this is the last section. Here we're gonna do combos into V-Trigger. Uh, with Alex's combos, okay. Crouching strong to me is like the best uh, move to actually go into V-Trigger. I'm gonna explain why. It's because it, adds a, it has a lot of frame advantage. So you can do like this. And standing fierce and it'll combo. Also, it has ridiculous range, like around here. And you can whiff punish a lot of stuff with that. So, basically, some of the good combos is that if you're poking somebody, then you can just go. It moves you forward. In this case, you can't do. It does move you forward for certain combos, but for some ranges, it's not gonna reach. So, you can, if you land it like pretty far, you can go to sweep. I personally like if I have meter, like if I'm if I have meter and I just need like that little damage to kill, I'll eventually be like this. And you can just go ahead and link EX uh, EX flash chop and it'll link. Or if you have full meter, you can just be like this and then automatically. And you can link the super right after like the frame advantage of this crouching strong is so much that you can link it. But his super is relatively fast, it comes out in five. Not that bad. Um, another good cancel into V trigger is this for here. And you do that. Or you can also do, let's see what else I have in this list. Punch, standing high punch. Yeah. There was this one. Good damage. That was crouching medium punch, V trigger. Standing Heavy Punch, Lariat, and then you go into the Power Bomb. You can also do Standing High Punch, V-Trigger, Standing High Punch, into all oh, the, the link that I showed earlier while you were in V-Trigger. This was like... That timing. Okay. You can do that. And then after that, you can do the Power Bomb right after, if you want. You can also do, there's a setup that's for, for three frames. It's a, I'm gonna show that one. That's the last one I'm gonna show. It's because it's, it's a trade combo. I, I already showed the forward fierce anti, but I'm gonna show it again. And there's a counter hit combo that actually is really good for confirming. You can also do something like this. Let me do it again. That was two hits, I'm sorry. Since it's two hits, I can't link the normal one. Did it too late. There we go. Another one of the combos that he has is a counter hit combo, which you can confirm. So if you manage to, remember what I said, the stand strong is plus seven. So you can, if you're like doing this and you manage to catch them in a frame trap, like let's say you did this on block. You know what, let's just do it. Let's just do the whole example. I'm just gonna pull him to block everything. And I'm gonna put in the mash crouching jab. Right? So okay, this is what's gonna happen. Okay, so if you do frame trap, you could do something like, see? You can do something like this. I was too close to the corner. See? So right after frame trap, you confirm the counter hit strong, then you do crouching strong, down forward fierce, into lariat, into EXDP. Okay, this one I showed you in the V-Trigger section, but I'm going to show it where it belongs, which is in this one. It's a uh, crush counter, anti-air forward fierce, into V-Trigger, into crouching fierce, or uh, down forward fierce, so it moves forward. Then you do lariat into EXDP. 
DX uh, Air Knee Smash. That is too late. And the last combo, which I'm gonna show, is actually the most interesting one. So I'm gonna check. I'm gonna do character select. And I'm gonna pick Nikali, because he has a three frame jab. So let's just blow that up. Okay, so here we have a specific combo that I want to show you guys, which is versus three frame normal. So it's actually a trade setup into B trigger. And it's um, crouching low punch. I mean standing low punch. Standing low punch into low slash elbow. And it'll trade. And right after the trade, I'm gonna do stand heavy kick, B trigger, stand fierce, lariat, flash chop, and two super. So let's do that right now. I missed it. Just want you to see the full damage. And that's all off of a trade. And with that cool combo, cool setup, we are finished with the combo guide for Alex. I will post up other vi additional videos for Alex, any additional tech that I find, because I always like looking for stuff that I can use. Uh, we're also gonna upload the in-depth video on his trade setups for combos after a trade. And that's pretty much it. Okay, so that concludes the combo guide for Alex. Hope you guys enjoyed the content. We decided to add the counter hit special moves, which we didn't manage to add on the parts two of episode seven. So I hope you guys enjoyed that little bit as well. If you didn't see parts one, two, and three, you can click on the links on the screen or in the description below. Make sure to give us a like, comment on the video if you guys liked it or any additional feedback that you guys wanna give us. And subscribe to the Gamers Grid TV channel and follow us on Twitter, at MonoPR and at Gamers Grid TV. And I'll see you on episode eight where we'll be covering frame traps, mix-ups, and anti-airs with Alex.